Hello Capricorn, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a reading for the weekend, March 19th and the 20th. This is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate with you. Take the messages that do resonate and leave the ones behind that do not, okay? Please also go and check your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I do have all of the readings for March up, all 12 zodiac signs, and I also have some uh, timeless readings in my playlist. Both readings for Capricorn I will include at the end of this video, the monthly and the timeless reading, the most two most recent readings I've done, okay? That way um, it's easy access for you to just click on it to continue if you want to do some binge watching and if, of course, my readings resonate with you, okay? All right, let's dive right in and see what you can be um, expecting for the weekend, weekend energy. Wow, look at that. Beautiful. This is the sun card. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful energy. This is talking about the main situation, which is comfort, happy home, feeling good, feeling plentiful, right? Uh, feeling like you have the sun on your, you know, just on your face, you know, when you stand out in, the, in a nice warm, uh, on a nice warm day and you feel that sun on your, on your skin. It's just a beautiful feeling. Um, it's so, it's just, it's so comforting, right? So I'm feeling comfort. Um, beautiful. I love that. Let's see what your challenge is. The King of Pentacles is your challenge, okay? So you could be having finance issues. Uh, this could be maybe work issues, okay? Something that has to do with your money. Um, this could be maybe you feeling a little bit, um, ungrounded at this time okay so if you you know meditate or you you know need to meditate then you know I highly suggest you do okay because this is in your challenge position this can also be a person as well but we'll, we'll take a look and see and we have the um, Hierophant next to the nine of wands okay that's gonna this is your action position here so uh, the Nine of Wands talks about, you know, feeling a little bit wounded, right? A little bit overwhelmed. And the Hierophant can talk about commitment. So you might, you might have lots on your plate right now. You might be committing yourself to a lot. Uh, could be with a person. It could be a situation. It could be a job. Uh, I feel like you're, you're putting a lot of stress and strain on yourself, okay? You could also be in school. If you're going to school, you're working full time, Maybe you have kids too, and you have, um, you know, spouse, home life, you know, uh, marriage life. That's tough, right? It's a lot to take on. So I feel like you're feeling a little bit overwhelmed right now. If you're not married, if you're not, if you don't have kids, that obviously doesn't pertain to you. But overall, um, you know, if you're a student, you know, you can be definitely overwhelmed with finals. Um, if you are, um, going through a spiritual awakening that can sometimes be very 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 daunting too um you know going through a spiritual awakening is not always peaches and cream it's you know it comes with a lot a lot of um physical symptoms okay so let's go ahead and clarify let's see what's going on i want to just remind you this is only a reading for the weekend 19th and the 20th so you know it's going to be a temporary energy here but it's an energy nonetheless that you should be aware of Okay. Again, if you're interested in the full month um, uh, reading, it's available for you. Um, and I'll be doing different types of readings going into um, the coming months, like this one, you know, weekend readings and stuff like that. All right, so let's see. Uh, the Sun card in your situation, as I said, is beautiful. So let's see what this is talking about here. Spirit, why is the Sun card here? Hmm, the Five of Cups and the Ace of Swords. So it looks like you're having a little bit of a difficult time moving into a new beginning here, Capricorn. Okay? Spirit wants you to know that you do have that energy and that spark in order to lift your head to see all of your opportunities, all of the possibilities, all of the 
um, doors that uh, are going to be opening up for you because the Ace of Swords does talk about a new beginning, okay? Um, this is also talking about looking, looking at things for what they truly are. With the Ace of Swords, it talks about truth. So this is saying, you know, you definitely need to see something for what it is, okay? Um, I know sometimes we want to look at the things that are more beneficial for our lives, um, but sometimes, you know, this reminds me of uh, shadow work. So, you know, sometimes if you don't want to look at some of the difficult energies that um, you bring on to yourself and to others, um, you know, it's 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 a necessity okay it's a necessity to do that to look at those things okay I know it's hard we don't always want to do that but it's part of um, you know learning it's part of growing um, and the truth of you know the matter here is that there's something that you don't you don't want to look at or you maybe have regrets about okay so allow yourself to look at those things so that you can release them Speaking of release, we do have a full moon in Virgo on Friday. I should be uploading these videos on Friday. So if you're, if you're, you know, um, here now and it's Friday, um, take advantage of that moon to release some of the things that are not serving you. Um, some of the regrets, some of the disappointments, some of the things that you have a hard time looking at, you know, some of the things that are living deep within you that you need to let go of okay that's what this is talking about here so that you can begin a new venture or you know allow yourself to feel that sun on your skin allow yourself to feel the happiness the comfort the joy that life brings okay uh, because I do feel that there it is there it is there if you have to find joy in cooking in sewing in taking a walk going for a run um, you know, playing with your dog, whatever it is that brings you joy, um, allow that to help you heal some of the wounds, past wounds that are still keeping you stuck. Okay. So that's what I see in your current situation, but I do feel that this is, you know, there's a possibility here that, you know, during this weekend, you could be finding something that helps with, um, you know, the release that you should be doing during the full moon and and bringing in the beautiful things that make you happy okay some of the things that can help ground you and speaking of grounding we're looking at the king of pentacles so let's see why that's here spirit why is okay yeah the star it's healing yeah um ground yourself to heal those wounds that you need to heal okay we get the eight of pentacles and the seven of wands mm -hmm. yeah so healing you know the healing takes work is what this is saying here and it does healing does take work it makes you feel um, that you are vulnerable right because you're looking at the things that you don't want to look at um, not, and all of us have negative uh, aspects to our our beings right we're we have that polarity of good and, and evil in us, of um, right and wrong, right? None of us are perfect. We all have the yin and yang within us. And we all have to do the work to incorporate some of the things that aren't so pretty or so, uh, you know, that we're not so proud of, um, to work with those energies so that we can incorporate them rather than brushing them under the rug, okay? So you might be feeling a little bit defensive about doing that work, about healing um, those energies this weekend, but what I suggest is meditation. Okay, there's a lot of great guided meditations on YouTube, lots of great YouTube uh, content creators that put up wonderful, uh, medit I was gonna say metaphysical, but yeah, the metaphysical meditations. <laughs> um, you can do different kinds of meditations that help you ground your, your energy. And um, it's, you know, there's tons of stuff you can find. Um, so yeah, if you don't want to do meditation, you know, just find those things that, that bring in the happiness for you. Okay, that will help ground you. Um, 
it's going to be important this weekend because I think that some of the things that this uh, full moon are going to bring to the table for the collective in general is going to be difficult energy that we have to sit with, right? And it's some of that is, you know, looking at a lot of um, our um, flaws, a lot of our um, uh, things that we're not proud of, right? And we're all doing that work. Most people will not uh, because it's it's not easy work to do. Some people are okay with just being who they are and, and sitting with the pain. But you don't really have to, okay? You don't really have to if you, if you just uh, spend the time going into hermit mode. I don't see the hermit out here, but um, healing is really sitting with yourself and doing the work, okay? I'm going to stop repeating myself. I feel like I'm repeating myself. So let's look at this wise one with the nine of wands. So yeah, um, you know, feeling like you're overwhelmed um, with your schedule, maybe uh, with your um, spiritual awakening, your spiritual journey. You have the page of cups. I feel like there could be someone coming in to assist you. How would you like me to take this? Okay. We have the Queen of Wands. Yeah. I feel like there is this Aries Leo Sagittarius energy with the Queen of Wands who could be offering you some assistance here. Okay. Um, the wise one here with the Hierophant can also talk about counseling. It can talk about teachers. There could be a teacher in your um, vicinity, in your surroundings, in your environment. Um, you know, maybe um, when I say teacher, um, it can be in any realm. It could be, like I said, you could be going to school. Um, you, there could be someone who is, is helping you with your studies, okay? Um, if this is something that is more uh, towards spirituality or religion, you could be speaking with a pastor or you could be, um, someone could be offering you um, support in many different ways, okay? Many different ways. A friend. Um, someone sees that you're struggling, Capricorn, someone sees that you are having a difficult time getting past something. And so someone's taking action to bring in assistance for you. Okay. Even if it's just, um, someone to talk to, I feel like there is someone that is going to reach out to you. Okay. Over the weekend. Um, again, you know, it's, it could be anyone put it, how it resonates for you. And you'll know, you'll, you know, you may receive a text message or a phone call or a nudge, you know, from a stranger even. Okay. Um, there could, you could be in a coffee shop and, you know, getting your coffee, you have this, you know, frown on your face and someone says, are you okay? Which, you know, would you like to sit down and have coffee with me? Strangers do that all the time. It happens, right? Um, so it could be anybody. It could be a stranger, a friend, a family member, um, a therapist, a teacher, a pastor, right? Overall, Capricorn, um, I see that you definitely need to ground yourself, okay? Uh, make sure that you are looking at that energy that could possibly be hindering you just a little bit emotionally, okay? Um, whatever this is for you, um, don't ignore it, okay? Don't brush it under the rug because it's not going to go away. If you don't you know, if, if you, if you get a cut and you just leave it and you don't wash it and you don't bandage it, it's going to get infected. It's the same thing with your heart. If you don't take care of your heart and you don't look at the wound and, and, you know, try to, um, at least console your own feelings, your own need for, um, care, right? Self-care. Then it's going to get infected right? It's going to start, it's not going to heal. It's going to just continue to hurt. So I hope that is something, you know, a, a metaphor that will help you understand um, what I'm trying to say here. Okay. Um, Capricorn, if you're enjoying the reading and it resonates with you and you enjoy my content, please hit that like button on this video specifically. It helps other readers. I'm sorry. It helps other viewers uh, find the reading. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do. 
from your subscription is um, very, very valuable to me. And comment if you have uh, any comments or you want to say hello. I read all the comments, okay? Okay, that one wanted to come out. Um, please, again, take advantage of the full moon to release some of the uh, doubts, uh, fears, regret, disappointment, and all that. Okay, that's going to help. Um, the full moon is, is meant for, you know, helping you release negative energy or energy that doesn't belong. Okay? Nothing is set in stone. Right? Nothing is set in stone. Right? You have the ability as a human being on this earth to make the choices for your own life. So just because you're feeling a little bit down um, and, you know, possibly um, seeing something for what it really is, maybe, uh, you know, having these disappointments in, in yourself or someone else, those will pass, right? That will pass and things get better, right? So nothing is set in stone. And then we have your dreams need a practical plan. Yeah, so think about the things that you want to do. If you're in school, I do see that someone here is in school. Make sure that you are uh, continuing with your studies in a way that is productive and successful and um, rely on those people that are there to help you because I do feel that there is someone here um, that wants to offer your their help to you, okay? Um, if you have a very heavy workload right now, um, try to take a break, okay? Try to take some breaks uh, to go walking out in nature, have some comfort food, um, do the things that make you happy as well. Don't just overwhelm yourself with work and studies and, and not take time for yourself, okay? Do the self-care, all right? So this was your weekend reading. Uh, this is the weekend vibes, I'm calling it. Um, so uh, I hope you all enjoyed it and uh, have a great weekend. Enjoy the full moon. And until next time, guys, namaste.